People are going to speculate about a lot of reasons about how Hillary Clinton came back, how the polls were so wrong. I have a pretty fundamental and simple view of presidential politics. Candidates do well when they control their public image, when they're defining themselves on their terms rather than on the terms of their opponents. Hillary Clinton's bad patch it consisted of her being defined on terms very much along the lines of what John Edwards and Barack Obama wanted her to be seen. In this case, in the last few days in New Hampshire, particularly when she showed emotion by tearing up, she defined herself as someone who fought for issues she cared about, someone who was a tough woman and a sensitive woman. And I think that image, which got a lot of attention in New Hampshire, defined for many voters at the end the way Hillary Clinton wanted herself to be seen. I want especially to thank New Hampshire. Over the last week, I listened to you. And in the process, I found my own voice. I felt like we all spoke from our hearts, and I'm so gratified that you responded. Now together, let's give America the kind of comeback that New Hampshire has just given us. No one's ever going to understand this, and the pace of the process is going to speed up, so there's not going to be a lot of looking back. But to figure out what happened, I think you need to look at Hillary Clinton and how she was seen by these voters in the debate on Saturday, in the uh, moment when she did tear up, and as she fought and contrasted herself with Barack Obama for a lot of New Hampshire voters, for a lot of women, for a lot of independents, that was an appealing image. If she can continue to control her public image going forward, she's going to be tough to beat. This is Mark Halperin for Time Magazine.